All right, welcome to uh, NXP Connects. We are in the technology showroom or lab as they call it. And this is where a lot of the action with both NXP as well as our partners showing really cool innovative demos. So let's take a look at a few of these. Here we have one of my favorites, which is the IDATMX. We have the IDATMX 8 UOP. It's showing very low power, always on sensing using a gyro to detect that the system needs to wake up. It wakes up in M33, and prior to that, it's in less than one milliwatt of power mode to then turn on the M33, write information to the display and shut down so you have really energy efficiency of energy efficiency and then if you really need to boost up and do some uh, work you can turn on the uh, other cores within the device and perform higher performance tasks on an app's processor and next to the 8 ULP that has extreme power efficiency with power modes you then have the IDATMX 93 with some of the cool detection capability using the integrated uh, NPU such that you can perform vision-based inference and classifications. Obviously, it wants me to exercise with squatting up and squatting down in terms of doing the uh, detections. Um, great implementation of hardware acceleration in an apps processor in our latest scalable series of IDATMX 9 that's scaling not only real-time as well as rich content on CPUs, but also is a base of scaling NPUs for different workloads. Great application. And then here we have a example of a driver monitoring system with the 93, where if I tuck my head, you can see it says I'm not awake or even really cool, I can look at my cell phone and it tells me I'm distracted and I shouldn't be doing that. So now let's go take a look at a different form of compute. We're gonna go way over here. It's got a big setup, a lot of demos that are in place. So let's head on over. So actually the UWB, we almost skipped one. We have geofencing. They don't call it geofencing, but I do because you have a UWB, it's integrated in the cell phone. It is giving you credentials saying who you are. Then with the UWB and a UWB anchor that's integrated into the bezel of your computer, it knows where I am within 10 centimeters so I can interact with this computer. I don't have to type all of the passwords and the control alternate delete. It knows I'm here. It can open up and interact with me in a seamless manner. So now, now let's go to the other form of compute. And here, so before we go to the MCX, we have the RT1170 in my coffee machine, where we're always interacting in terms of, hey, NXP, espresso. And it's gonna make me an espresso, all on the RT1170. See, it's, now it doesn't have the coffee machine, so I'm gonna need my caffeine after I'm done with this. And then over here, we have MCX with Tiny ML. We are award-winning in this year for Tiny ML. We have integrated an NPU on an MCU, enables real-time CPU workloads. It enables NPU acceleration for very efficient, from a power point of view, inference. So you can do face recognition, classification. You could combine that with object detection, you can do motor control, and you can do display all on a single MCU. Absolutely incredible. And here's our classic matter interoperability. And we just talked about how we're addressing a common language for devices to interoperate interoperability and standards around security such that you can use these device, devices have them come into your home and know that they are authentic, certified devices that can operate safely without enabling attackers to come in based on this common standard. And what we have here is we have Wi-Fi based endpoints, we have thread based endpoints, we have multiple ecosystems with NXP Voice, with Google Voice Assist, with Siri, and we have a combination of control. We have border router as well as different edge 
um, processing, and we have endpoint capability all integrated with NXP. In the case of the border router, you can combine our Wi-Fi tri-band with higher performance with our 8X or our IdentumX 8 um, Mini in this particular case, and you can scale performance. You can use our RW612 where you can have compute and lower performance tri-band in order to enable endpoint functions in different levels, as well as you can integrate our um, RW612 in order to drive voice as one of the HMIs. So with that, let's head over towards the automotive area and talk about software-defined vehicles. What we have here is we have a software-defined vehicle. We have an S32K3 that handles endpoints or zones within the vehicle. Um, this comes with the S32K design studio that goes across the endpoints. The gateway functionality that's managing traffic in, security and data management. And then you have vehicle computer that's handling higher performance, real-time compute and an entire system that can enable the software defined vehicle. It can enable the cloud connectivity where you can have a dashboard of functionality and you can even take away a part of this and just on this S32 K3, you can create a solution around a two wheeler with really cool capability for efficient connectivity into a controller that allows you to have uh, electric vehicles of the future. And now we have the ML deployment story across our S32 family. This is one example of a very various ML deployment where you can use it for state of the charge estimation to have higher accuracy estimation. And you can leverage that to optimize the performance of the vehicle in terms of the battery management as one example. The same capability you can deploy to the traction inverter in order to optimize the driver experience. And you can look for wear um, in the uh, motors that are operating the uh, vehicle motion. And when you see anomalous uh, issues, you can compensate that to deploying a different model or a different set of control uh, firmware in order to adjust and compensate. So NXP connects, great innovation. A lot of developers, innovators, technical and business that have come together to talk about learning of using semiconductors and innovating together with NXP. Talk to you soon.